Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today I want to talk about layer control. Layer control is an expression controller, and but you can use it for many cool things. I've done this in different tutorials in the past, and I just wanted to do a video dedicated solely to it and kind of what it is and how you can use it. So first, let's go to the effect, down to expression controls, and add the layer control to it. And basically what this is, is a way of linking anything to this layer through this layer control. I can select other layers, but by default, it's set to the current layer that it's on. And what's neat is if I were to duplicate this layer, both layers are now linked to still that first original layer. Now, I've seen scripts and different things out there that end up creating like a control layer. Um, well, this is basically that. It's a control layer. So some cool things we can do with this, it's like parenting things together before you even create them. So on this layer, let's add an effect. So just like a blur, just so we can see what's going on. Okay, so there's a blur. Now, if I were to, down in the effects controls, in the blur, I'm going to add an expression to this, Option or Alt, and click on the stopwatch. And it puts in basically what the value is. So effect box blur one. So that's this. If I wanted this to be this, that's what I would put in there. But what I want to do is I want it to not be that, the blur radius. I want it to be this effect from, from this layer. So if I were to use the pick whip, and then grab that layer control, then add a period in between it, because it didn't put one there, then what this is saying is this value here, take it from the blur radius from this layer, right here, layer control, that layer. And so if I were to say duplicate this, and I've got two of them, well if I go to this original layer, the one that both of them are defaulted to, well now, it controls both of them. Pretty cool. And what we can also do with this is into the text, into the source text, we want to do that too. So let's pick whip the layer control, add a period in between it, and we can do the same thing here. Let's duplicate it, go to that original layer, and both of them will update automatically. I don't have to go in after the fact and link everything up together. When I add that layer control from the get-go, every time I make a duplicate, everything will just be linked automatically. So that is the layer control expression controller. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free to put them down in the comments below. It can be very handy. It's not something you use every day, but when you do need to use it, it's good to know. Um, how it works. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.